Alright everybody, now in today's video we're going to be going over the SML movie, No Invite. Um, again, this is, honestly I kind of like these types of videos, um, with the whole like invitations and like, kind of similar like two tickets and stuff, or like, you know, or like, I don't know, it's, just, it's one of these videos, it just it seems exciting to me, so yeah, I'm definitely excited to get onto this one. Uh, if you guys are going to enjoy, please drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel as always, um, and let's just get right on to it, I have no clue what to expect, here we go. Oh man, Joseph, I can't wait to fly my Mega Glide Star. I know, dude. It has a 19 inch wingspan. You know this is going far. It's going to fly for miles. Oh yeah. Hey guys, you're looking at the smartest kid in the country. You mean the biggest nerd in the country? <laughs> Flame him, bro. No. That's the tough. Of Florida just sent me this letter telling me how smart I am because I got a 36 on my ACT test. You got a 36 out of 100? Dude, that's failing. You're ass. You got an F, Cody. He probably sent you this letter to make fun of All right, hold up. I swear this thing's not 1080p. I swear. I, I swear. <laughs> no, it's 36 out of 36. That's not how tests work, Cody. It's 36 out of 100. You got an F and you failed. Yeah, you didn't try, dude. No, because I also got a 1600 on my SAT test. <laughs> I'm just making up numbers, Cody. That's not how they grade, dude. I right, listen. That could be cool and all. Um, I'm just going to say the reason I have no reaction to that whatsoever is because I have no clue what those things are. I've obviously heard of an SAT, but I don't know what a good score is because... Again, I'm Canadian, and I'm not from, from the States, so I don't really know. We don't do SATs here, so, uh, yeah, that could be a good score. I just, I don't know. I don't hey, know. Joseph, I got a two billion on my test. Oh, that's so good, but maybe next time you'll get three billion. <laughs> <laughs> because they sent me this letter saying that I was smart and they're going to have a special celebration for me where they're going to give me a medal. What? They're not going to give you a medal. They're probably going to give you a you tried medal because yeah. you got a 36 F on your test. Wait, no, guys, it's going to be a whole ceremony and everything. <laughs> it's going to be a buffet and I can invite whoever I want. Dude, a buffet? Oh, we can eat whatever we want? Oh, I could eat for days. Okay, Cody, we'll go to your stupid dumb nerd event. Yeah, wait, wait you, you guys aren't invited. What? what? We're not invited. Ooh. No, I mean, I'm taking Ken. Oh, he just wants to be him and Ken. Oh, one of those date things, I guess. Well, I am also inviting Penelope. What? Penelope? Oh, yo, yo, now the tables have turned. Now the tables have turned. I mean, big man got to be worried out here. Oh, look at Junior. Look at Junior, man. Joseph's even more shocked. Okay. Penelope. I am my bad. Friend, she's cool. Well, you've only known her for like a year. You've known me and Joseph for like 10 years. Yeah. Well, I don't know. She's nice. I don't know. Well, you don't even know who she is. Why is she going to go to your stupid event? We, we want to go. Yeah. I don't know, guys. She's just cool. I want to bring her. So you're going to take Ken and Penelope? Well, yeah, and Patrick. Patrick? Come on. Why Patrick? <laughs> Well, just because you don't see me talk to Patrick doesn't mean I don't talk to Patrick. When's the last time you talked to Patrick? Like, three days ago on the phone. Show me your call history. Show me you talked to Patrick. Uh, okay, I don't really talk to Patrick that much, but he's cool. I like Patrick. So you're gonna you're gonna take Penelope and Patrick and Yeah, I'm sorry, but that's just disrespectful. I'm just saying, that's just disrespectful, bro. You cannot be dissing my mans like that, bro. <laughs> Your 10 year lifelong buddies, bro. At least he's probably gonna say like Lil T Max or something. Ken, but not your two best buds? Come on, we sit on a couch together. Or like Jeffy. Yeah, I mean, I, I'd rather take them. Wait, are you gonna take your parents? No, definitely not. They're gonna cause a scene. Well, well you're, gonna, you won't, you're not gonna take your parents. It doesn't make sense, dude. Yeah, so you're gonna take Penelope, who you don't even really know. You're gonna take Patrick, who you don't really even talk to. And you're gonna leave behind your two best buds and your parents. What? Well, sorry, guys. You're just not invited. What? You're so stupid, Cody. You know how much stuff we do for you? I point out how many pimples you have on your face so that you can get them treated and that you're a nurse so we can humble you yeah and also we tell you how fat your mom is so she can go on a diet mm -hmm. I, I only tell you your mom is fat because I, i'm worried about her health cody i don't want her to die we care see guys this is exactly why you're not invited i only really came to show you guys how smart i am i have to go get ready for my ceremony it's tonight what? joseph can you believe that can you believe what cody's doing i know dude i really wanted to go to that buffet but well i guess it's only patrick and freaking ken and penelope bro oh what my god i don't want to find Stupid plan. I want to go to the event. But well, we're not invited, dude. But why isn't Cody inviting us? It doesn't make any sense. We've been his best friend for years. Wait a minute. I figured it out. What? Is it because we're black? That's one of the reasons. Yeah, I knew it. But I, he's only inviting people whose names start with a P. What? Think about it. Think about it. The two people he invited. What about Ken, bro? Invited is Penelope and Patrick. Okay, but what about Ken? Ken's not a real person. Ah, I see. So he's only inviting people whose names start with a P. Because he hates people whose names start with a J. 
Oh shit! Okay, I'm sorry for pausing a lot, but that's crazy. He's a J. He's racist, and people's names start with a J. Cause I'm Junior and you're Joseph. Dang it! So we gotta change our names to start with a P. How are we gonna do that though? We're gonna go to the courthouse. Okay, let's go. Okay, we just changed our names. My new name is officially Punya, and I am Posif. And I told Cody to come over to see if he invites us. Oh yeah, he better let us in this time. Guys, what do you want? I was getting ready for my ceremony. I gotta go. Hey, Cody, look at my new bib. With PR, what did you get a job in public relations? <laughs> Personal you know, record. Supporting Puerto Rico? It's not that either. Okay, then what is it? Me and Joseph changed our names. But what did you change your names to? I am Punya. And I am Posif. <laughs> Those are the stupidest names I've ever heard. Well, can Punya and Posif come to your event? No. What? I thought you were going to invite us because our names start with P now. Yeah. What? Why would I do that? Because you're Jacist. What, what the hell is a Jacist? You're racist <laughs> to people whose names start with J. What, what are you talking about? Look, you invited Penelope and you invited Patrick. Mm -hmm. So we changed our names to start with a P because you were only inviting people with P's. That's not why I didn't invite you guys. Then why did you invite us? I, I don't know. I just didn't want to. You don't want us to go. No, I don't. Well, what if we show up anyway? Well, then I'm going to have security escort you out because you're not invited. You just don't want us there. Yes, exactly. I don't. So I'm going to go finish getting ready for my ceremony. Leave me alone. That's oh, just so cool. Cody, I hate you. Dude, that's so Jace's of him. Yeah, he's Jace's and he's Pace's now. Oh, I got to figure out what this is. You know what? I'm going to call Patrick over and maybe Patrick can tell us what's really going on. Yeah, he better. Hey, guys. I lost my shoes. I probably need them for Cody's ceremony. I don't want to go barefoot. Unless I'm Tarzan. Tarzan's cool. But then I have to take my shirt off. Tarzan was raised by monkeys. Did you know that? I think I was raised by monkeys because I'm pretty good at climbing and I like bananas. All right, listen, Patrick. We want to find out Is what... Is that a Mega Glide store? Yeah, dude. And it has a 19-inch wingspan. And it has dual flight modes, high durability phone, and it's easy to assemble. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you can read that from way back there? Yeah, I have contact lenses. They're like these little stickers that you put in your eye to make your eyes see better. At least the thing is, the plot of this video isn't really rolling. Like, are they going to go to the buffet and stuff? Like, like, what's the plan? I mean, I'm assuming Junior's just going to try to get some side deal here, but yeah. That's what my mommy says. Except sometimes I forget to take them out, and then they go behind my eyeball, and the doctor has to pop my eye out of its socket to get it back out. All right, Patrick, you can leave. Okay! Dude, why did you make him leave? Because I just figured out why Cody didn't invite us. What? what? Why? Because we don't wear glasses. Wait, wait, that doesn't make sense, dude. No, think about it. Cody wears glasses. Penelope wears glasses. Patrick doesn't wear glasses, dude. He wears contacts. <gasps> mm-hmm. Cody is a bad visionist. He is racist to people with bad vision. He knows my left eye is not that good. Mine too, dude! So if we wear glasses, then he'll think that we're like him and he'll invite us. Yeah. Let's go. All right, Posif, we now have perfect vision because of our glasses. You're right, Poonia, we look so sophisticated. I called Cody and said, come over really quick. Guys, what do you want? My ceremony starts in 30 minutes. I don't have time to keep coming over here. What is this? Me and Posif now have glasses. Okay, great, and? So, do you like them? Well, did you guys even need glasses? I mean, our vision wasn't perfect before, but now it is. <laughs> Bro, come on. Don't you like wearing glasses? No, I only wear these because I have to. Oh, well, you know, me and Posif will be able to see you better get your award with these glasses. You guys are still not invited. But what? We're not invited still? But no, it's the glasses. You're only inviting people wearing glasses. But what are you talking about? Penelope wears glasses. Patrick doesn't. He wears Contacts. I didn't even know that. Yes, you did. You just don't want us there. Guys, that's not why I didn't invite you. Now stop bothering me. I have to get ready. Oh my god. I realize what it is. What is it, dude? It's not the glasses. It's not did the you realize that maybe it's just you two? Like, did, did you ever, did it ever occur to you? Was there ever a thought in your mind that maybe it was just you and Joseph as people because you're rude to him all the time? Did, did that not ever, <laughs> did that not ever cross your mind? What could it be? He's only inviting people that are gay. <gasps> <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro, there's no way. Okay, Ken is understandable, but the other two, what? Pen Penelope isn't gay, dude. How do you know? Have you ever seen her with a man? You're right, dude. Yeah, and every time I try to kiss her, she goes, Ew, no. A girl that doesn't like a guy, she likes girls. She's gay. Yeah, she would totally take that kiss, dude. Yeah, so she's a lesbian. And Patrick's gay because look, Patrick, we never seen him with a girl either. And he was talking about Tarzan. Tarzan's a half naked man. What's he doing watching Tarzan? Jesus, you're right, dude. And Cody's gay himself. So he's only inviting gay people. So me and you need to be gay for each other. Jesus, how are we going to do this? I got an idea. Come on. Okay, Posif, we have our gay pride button. So when Cody gets here, we have to act really gay. He's on his way. I got you, bro. Guys, I'm on my way to my ceremony right now. What do you want? Look at my ass. <laughs> <laughs> bro, he got the little pride pins on them, too, and shit. Yeah. That's very nice. 
Man, I sure love me some man butt. Yep, me too. Yeah, me too. So, Cody, me and Posa are now gay. We're a gay couple. Wait, what are you guys talking about? You're not gay. You've never been gay. Oh, well, starting today, we're gay because mm -hmm. Posa was peeing in the bathroom. Yep. And I opened the door and I saw him peeing. And I saw his wiener. And I said, don't put that thing away. That's kind of hot. Yep, and I saw that he saw my wiener. And I said, yo, that's hot. Yeah, so I grabbed his wiener. And then he grabbed mine. Mm -hmm. It just couldn't let go. Yeah, we held on to each other's wiener for like 30 minutes. Yeah, that has to be a gay record or something. That, that does sound pretty gay. Oh, because we are so gay. Look at our gay buttons. I got the gay flag. Well, the fact that you called it the gay flag makes me think you're not really gay. Yeah. yeah. Look at Joseph's. I mean, Postev's gay. Pro he's proud for, for being gay. Yep, so proud for penis, dude. You don't even know. Yeah, we love penis. Yep, so much. And, and look at this. Look, pride it, it, uh, makes a family. So we, can, we can't have kids because we're gay, but we can adopt because two guys can't make a kid. Hmm. I'm not sure I believe this. I'm going to need you guys to prove it. Oh, how do you want us to prove it? We got all the gay buttons in the, in the gay. You guys should kiss. Oh! Yo, he did that fast, bro. Oh, dude. See? No, I'm going to need you to do it with tongue. Oh, oh we, shit. We did so much gay kissing today. Yeah, know? we had a gay makeout session like five minutes ago, and oh, my tongue is just so tired from, sore. from being gay. Yeah. Uh, just do it one more time. Come on, Joseph. Dude. You really want to do this? There's a buffet at that event. I need to go to that event. <sighs> Just open your mouth. <laughs> oh, gross. gross. So you're not really gay? Oh, no, we're gay. Yeah, so gay. It's just, uh, my, his tongue tastes like my balls. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? What? No, no, the, no. <laughs> No way, bro. Th this part's the funniest part of the freaking thing. Well, we'll talk about this after I get back from my event. After we get back from your event. Mm -hmm. you, you guys are still not coming. What? Come on! So I kissed Joseph for no reason? That was tongue, dude! I thought you guys were gay. No, I'm not gay. I was just kidding, Joseph. I want to go to the event. I thought you were only inviting gay people. Wait, what are you talking about? Penelope's gay. No, she's not. Patrick's gay. Wait, no, he's not. Well, they, I've never seen them with another person. Listen, can we please just go to the event? Please, I just want to go. On the buffet! No, guys, I have to go to the event before I'm late. <laughs> Oh, I hate him. You know what? I'm taking off all this ridiculous crap. Yeah. Or changing my name back to Junior and Joseph. Yeah, Joseph. And we're going to crash this event. Let's go. Let's do it. Yes, sir. Hey, Penelope. I don't have a shirt on because I'm taller than you. Hello and welcome to the Cody Nut Kiss Ceremony. We are gathered here today to celebrate how smart Cody is for getting a perfect score on his ACT and SAT tests. So I will be presenting him with this medal. There you go. You're smart. You can put it on your own damn self. Thank you, Mr. Governor. This is such an honor. Uh, yeah, thank you, everybody. Uh, I guess I'll give a speech. Uh, it ain't easy being cheesy. That's quoting the great Chester Cheetah, who happens to be here today. Thank you, Chester. I'd just like to thank all of my friends who came out today for uh, supporting me and believing that I could be this smart. Uh, I'd also just like to say... Hey, Cody, you didn't thank your actual friends, you nerd. Yeah, stupid nerd. Yeah, yeah, you got that medal for being smart, but you actually got that medal for having the fattest mom. Yeah, she's a whale, dude. Yeah, super fat mom having himself is what you are. Yeah, she's a humpback whale, isn't she? Yeah, you? big fat one. And also those pimples on your face, yeah, you can connect the dots and it would spell fat. Pepperoni face ass. Yeah, it's dumb. Yeah, you don't want to invite your real friend, you want to invite these fake people. Where's your real friend, nerd, loser, fat idiot? <laughs> Junior. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you can't say where your real friends and then call them a nerd or fat idiot, but like, you just can't. I didn't invite you guys. You guys are dicks. <laughs> That was mean. I think we hurt his feelings, dude. I don't care. He hurt our feelings when he didn't invite us to this stupid event. Where's the buffet? There is no buffet. I was looking for the Cheetos, man. So there's not even a buffet? Why did we even come? I don't know. Uh, come on, Joe. Let's leave. Uh. Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't know they gave you a medal for being the biggest crybaby. Guys, do you not see how mean you just were? You ruined my whole event. We only did that because you didn't invite us, Cody. Well, I didn't invite you because I knew you were going to do that. No, if you would have invited us, we would have been on our best behavior. But since you didn't invite us, we acted like that. Yeah. You guys were already mean before you even knew I didn't invite you. Listen, Cody, friends bully friends, okay? We make fun of you because it's easy and it's funny. Yeah, we're supposed to support you, dude. That's what we're trying to do. You guys just wanted to come to the event because you wanted the buffet, which wasn't even there because I made that up to make you guys jealous. Cody, even if there would have been a buffet, we know your fat-ass mom would have ate all the food. So listen, we only came there because we wanted to support <laughs> you. Yeah, we're, we're, we're best buds, you know? You know what we did to try to go? We changed our names for you. We wore glasses for you. We, were, we turned gay for yeah, you. Totally Gay. Yeah, we were just trying to make you happy. We wanted to be there for you because you're our best friend. You didn't invite us. You know what to he is right, but at the same time, he's wrong. Like, I don't really know because he did do all that, which is crazy. But at the same time, it's just like, mm, I don't know. Hurt us? Yeah, I guess you're right.
So we want an apology for not coming to your stupid nerd event. We want you to apologize for not inviting us. Right now. Okay, fine. I'm sorry I didn't invite you because you guys are assholes. Aww. He really meant it, dude. I think he truly means it. Mm. All right, Cody. Next stupid event, you better invite us. Mm, we'll see. <gasps> we got a we'll see. <gasps> I like that. Yeah. All right, Cody. We're not going to apologize to you for anything because we didn't do anything wrong. At all. Because if you run a red light and then we hit you, we didn't do anything wrong. You're the one who caused this. So you caused all this by not inviting us. Mm -hmm. But we will let you throw this plane first. Oh, okay. That's nice. Yeah, throw it over there as fast as you can. <laughs> what are you? American Airlines Flight 191? <laughs> what? It's a plane that crashed in the 70s. Oh. <laughs> I, know, I know a lot of plane crash stuff. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, okay, this video got really funny towards the end. But at the same time, it's kind of redundant. So I don't really know how to, like, rank this video. It's a funny video, but it's redundant. It's one of the videos that I would like that uh, other people wouldn't like, okay? It's, it's, it's one of those videos where you guys are just going to disagree with my own opinion. Um, and so for me personally, this video gets at bare minimum a seven and a half, maybe an eight. Okay. Because I did enjoy the video. And if I enjoyed the video, it has to be up there. Um, I, I just love junior videos. I love these types of videos, um, for me personally. But again, I can understand if you would put this at like a five, it's really not very eventful. Um, but for me personally, I enjoyed it. So I'm definitely going to give it an eight. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel as always, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace out everybody.